Welcome to my second episode of Dorset Hunters, a series of videos where I'm looking at the predatory dinosaurs that are found within the county Dorset in the UK. Now, I'm here on the, on the hillside above the town of Weymouth, just over there, and we've got the Isle of Portland, which makes a fantastic day here on the south coast. And here's specifically for a hill, just behind me, called Jordan Hill where they're on the side of the cliffs they found the remains of the theropod dinosaur Metricanthosaurus. At a date that sadly is not known as it wasn't recorded, in the late 19th century, one W. Parker collected the bones from the cliffs on the side of Jordan Hill and these fossils were handed over to the paleontologist Friedrich von Huhn. It's a name you should be familiar with by now. He studied the fossils and assigned it to the species of that's right, Megalosaurus. Just like so many other theropods, Metricanthosaurus was labelled as a Megalosaurus. It was quite a common thing for the early days of, of paleontology. He did recognise it slightly different though and gave it the species name Parkeri after W. Parker. So Megalosaurus Parkeri as opposed to Oxfordshire's Megalosaurus Bucklandi. However, in 1932, von Huhn did a re examination of the fossil remains. He did it for several fossil dinosaurs that have been found within not just Britain but also uh, parts of Europe and he recognised it as different from Megalosaurus because of the slightly higher neural spines on the dinosaur and he thought it might have been related to another British theropod called Ultispinex so he reassigned it to that genus. Now obviously at this point it became known as Ultispinex parkeri. however the neural spines on the vertebrae weren't quite as extended as Ultispinex. In fact, they're not significantly taller than that of the average theropod dinosaur. So Alec Walker, another paleontologist later, used that as the basis to give it its own genus, Metricanthosaurus, the moderately spined lizard. Well, the fossils of Metricanthosaurus included several vertebrae from the back, sacrum and tail. It also included most of the hip, both the femurs, and a single metacarpal. Now the size estimate for this animal is about eight meters long, which makes it a moderately sized theropod. In fact, actually quite a decent size for the, for the middle of the Jurassic period. Now, although Metricanthosaurus was originally considered to be part of the Megalosaurus, later finds from China have brought that assignment into, into doubt. And particularly the find of young Schwanosaurus in the late 20th century. 2012 paleontologists Carano, Benson and Sampson in this paper actually assign Metricanthosaurus to a group of reptiles that includes a theropod dinosaur called Simraptor and they used to be referred to as the Simraptorids. Now the Simraptorids were a group of moderately sized theropod dinosaurs that were more closely related to the allosaurs than they were to the megalosaurs. Now, what makes Metricanthosaurus really significant is that all the other Simraptorids have been found in, in East Asia. In fact, only one so far has been found outside of China, and that was found in Thailand. So the fact that Metricanthosaurus comes from Europe is actually really significant. It shows that this particular group of theropod dinosaurs had a much, much greater range than had originally been thought. Now, having been found before Simraptor and young Tyrannosaurus has meant that these groups of dinosaurs are, that were originally named Simraptorids have now been renamed to Metricanthosaurids in honour of Metricanthosaurus, with it being the first one discovered. And timing wise, Metricanthosaurus comes from the Oxfordian stage, the late Jurassic, around about 160 million years ago. As a side note for Metricanthosaurus, it is also featured in the Jurassic Park franchise. You can actually see it on screen labelled up in the embryo chamber when Dennis Nedry steals the embryos next to the misspelt Stegosaurus. Now, being part of the franchise from the first movie, it also made it into the promotional material for Jurassic World, being one of the animals recognised as being part of the Jurassic World Park and put on their website and also plays a part in a lot of the other Jurassic Park and Jurassic World uh, franchise memorabilia including the computer game Jurassic World Evolution. Now sadly from the promotional website for the Jurassic World it would appear that Metricanthosaurus didn't survive 
the latest movie and was destroyed when the island's volcano erupted. And that is the story of Metriacanthosaurus, the moderately spined lizard.